check my camera, make sure it's still holding. Uh, let's see. Alright, not that there's anything else. I don't have any weapons yet. <laughs> That's disconcerting. Um, I think you start every level. Oh, that fell out. See that? Look at that. Dead being lava. Oh, that's a pretty moon outside. Very big. Alright. <sighs> See, you start out, I think, every level with, like, no weapons, and you have to kind of find a random weapon. Ooh, look at that right there. Hey! Pointy wooden object. My best friend. Even during the most boring physics class, I never went wishing for you. Yeah, yeah. Look on the bright side, Slater. The alarm clock goes off. Oh, yeah. Just trying to get out of the corner there. I'll give you the whole damn time. So you can kind of block and dodge. Um, I have found it more important with other enemies than these guys. These kind of blunt dudes. Um, so if you talk to these people, this is something I learned by accident once. They give you stuff sometimes. You can face them and talk to them too. Alright, come on, Buffy. Get it together. Take this for you. You spoke to them and hit Y and they give you things. Then you talk again and they give you like a generic combo. But that was pretty cool. It's like an extra holy water, which that took me like six playthroughs before I found out that was a thing. Okay. So that's a mop that I just picked up. Because just like in the show, Buffy will kill vampires and demons with just about anything she can find. Yeah, that hasn't been running like that. Hi, honey. I'm home. So it's the kind of crappy thing with the, the sound uh, improvisational weapons is it kind of limits your ability to block and dodge a bit. And also, the vampires can pick them up too and use them against you, so that kind of sucks. But they do wear out, so. Thank you so much. Maybe it'll help. Oh my god, you saved my life! Uh, again, to talk to the people you save, you just hit the Y button, but you have to be kind of right in front of them. And if you have a weapon or something, she will try to like stake them. And you can't in this game anyway, which is kind of. which is fortunate. But. Oh, you bastard! That was a dirty move. You see that Ooh. shit knock you down and throw a thing at me? Oh, that's cool. Oh, sweetheart. Guess you wish you'd stay Don't think this guy gives you anything. Nope. Nope, he's too traumatized to even talk to you. <laughs> uh, so the reason I dropped the mop before I talked to him it's because sometimes it hinders, if you're around boxes and things, she'll try to stake the box and it'll, she won't do what she wants and talk to them, so. I wish they could all be California boys. See what I mean? They do break and then there's a. I have better things to do than kick your ass. Picked up weapons. I don't like fighting on stairs in this game. Uh, the stairs are a bit awkward stance-wise, and they make it kind of difficult for you to get in line with your opponent. So I just prefer not to fight on the stairs if I can avoid it. Sometimes you can't, but you know. Yeah. Oh, 
also don't like to fight in little rooms like this if I can avoid it. It's just a strategy for me. Oh, I didn't know I could do that yet. Cool. So, fun facts. If you hit the X or Y button right when they grab you, and you have to time it perfect. Like you can do it the second you see them try to grab you. She'll shut them off so they don't fight you. Alright. So go through this door here. Oh jeez, I stall in there. <laughs> oh yeah, she that's what I meant about the stake she tries to stake objects and with uh stakes and other objects that you pick up. They do wear out so you wanna kinda limit your the amount of uh Trauma, you do get on if you can avoid it. It's a big moon, holy shit. So, how I'm doing that, that first person view is pulling the left trigger and holding it. That's also how you fix your camera. So, if your camera's in front of you, you'd rather have it behind you. You just tap the left trigger and it fixes it for you. I use that all the time in this game. They cut the power. Never a good thing. Does it make me a pessimist to say that's a bad omen? Cutting the power. I'm thinking they're smarter than the average bear. Or average vampire bear. And thing? here comes another bad thought on a collision course with my terror. I think that's the name of the magnetic locks on all the main doors. Here, take this. You won't be able to open them until the power comes back on. Then you have to get the power back on. Just stay here. Keep your head down. Absolutely. Classroom. Always felt right at home in a classroom. Yep. Gonna sit right here with the chalk. It looks like a logo for some kind of, uh, like a clothing line, but I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. So you'll notice that when you're in here, your weapon goes away. That's because you can't do combat in here. This is a, like a safe zone, I guess, because you're talking to Willow, so it's almost like a cutscene. So it doesn't let you do any, like I'm trying to kick and it's just giving you that noise. So I don't know why they did that, maybe just because that's not what this room is for, I don't know. <laughs> not that our weapon disappeared. <laughs> oh, alright, these ones blocking is a little more important. These, these vampires are faster than the other two. So I'm going to keep that weapon out of my hand because I want to be able to block better. Speed is important with these ones, also. I'm also going to keep my stake unequipped because I don't want to drop it. While I'm fighting. <clears throat> Can't save everybody. Some people are meant to not be saved. <laughs> oh, whoa! Ah, Bobby! Couldn't get her to turn around. Stupid dog! Alright. I like to get behind them when they're unconscious like that, because it gives me kind of a element of surprise, because they block pretty well typically. Oh, stairs! I have to see why I don't like stairs very much. So sometimes you can't line up with them very well to stake them on the stairs. I think it's a rendering kind of thing. I don't know quite where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, I don't think. I don't know if I'm going to walk around a bit. I got a little disoriented in there, so I don't quite remember where I'm supposed to be. Uh, Now I get the power back on. I'll try like from here. I think this one is it. Fun. The only way any of those oh. leeches is getting out of here is in the dust pan. So I think but, uh,
I don't know if the doors are locked or something. So I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at Willow's shirt. <laughs> Who do we have here? New blood or more likely than second time. Oh. oh wow, no focus. Awful. Like to look around. Uh, the storyline and the where you gotta go is usually pretty straightforward, but I like to look for things like that, like that rake, things like elixir, with a potion, just like shiny over here. Oh, really, Buffy? I guess I'll put that down <laughs> before I get that. Up. It's a little awkward. Um, kinds of stuff. There is a limit of how many stakes you can carry. I think it's six, maybe five. Like I said, I've never I've never been without a stake. So I play this game a lot. <laughs> and I don't think I'm getting any of these yet. So where is a secret up here? So I'm gonna so there's a detour. It's when you kind of what you think to do. Not a secret. It's like a. It's where you have to go. But so uh, I wandered around for a good long while trying to figure out what to do before I found this because it's not something I thought to do. It shows you in the clip where that vamp dude went, but it's a little awkward to get over there. And it doesn't quite look like you can make it, so. <laughs> that takes a while. Okay. Not sure what this, where this would go. Just reach out. Mm -hmm. Clearly we're not meant to go back to the gym, so sorry I had a cat looking like he was about to jump up on my desk and wipe out everything, so momentarily distracted. Creepy Pete's dead. Showtime. I think this is meant to be a boss fight, but with the creepy music. Yeah, wind slayer. Uh, but it's not really much wrong. Um, and there's nothing else in here, I don't think, that might be like a stake or something, but I need an issue with that. Nothing I guess. She will look at stuff she can pick up on occasion. Oh, I love that new kid's move. Oh, really? And he's like, no, you're not getting out that easy. Not this fight. Oh, come on. Why won't you die? Are you kidding? They should have stuck her in the room with the key. Just between us girls and you. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'
Uh, the vampires in the vicinity will try to kill civilians like that. So, I try to keep them, I mean, once you get whatever they have to give you, it's not really anything to affect your beam. It's going to affect your endings or anything like that. But, oh, really? But I like to try to keep them alive. I don't want you all the trouble to save them. Sometimes it's not possible, but I try. Oh, I keep yelling, oh, I keep yelling. I don't think there's anything in there with her. <laughs> She's just yelling at nothing, alright. Oh, where is this thing? Alright, these things are a pain in the ass. It's because they take forever. And if they get you, you gotta. Speed's important here, you gotta just keep. Oh, yeah, if they get you, they can be pretty brutal. But as you might see in a second. And they're armored, as you can see. So you have to get them on their side like that so you can save them. Even if you have them knocked down in no time, you're still going to beat them up until they get them on their side. Alright, not too bad. Now you're supposed to get that door. Oh, I got this door to skip this stuff. Won't open without power. So, that takes minutes. Trying to cut corners here. Buffy's not having any of that. Now I can get in here. I'm going to pause my recording here just to try to keep these videos bite-sized.